So this video requires a bit of an explanation. So in a conversation not long ago, we were talking about how com some computer science grads can find themselves working in organizations that have some old tech. And, and yeah, FreeDOS is old tech, and yep, some organizations out there still do run DOS. But the conversation we had was about programming languages. Like computer science grads will find they have to work with COBOL or Fortran, and they they don't know Fortran or COBOL. They know Python or Java and all the cool modern stuff. Uh, so I figured I'd do a video about programming in Fortran. Uh, I don't know COBOL, but I did learn Fortran 77 at university as part of my physics degree. And I'm surprised that I still know how to code in Fortran 77 uh, all these years later. So I'm going to do a few videos about Fortran 77 programming. It won't be a video series, I guess, but it will. I'll sprinkle these videos into the regular, you know, weekly FreeDOS videos. So you'll see them from time to time. But for this video, let's get started with the basics of Fortran 77. So to start, uh, FreeDOS has a very nice uh, Fortran 77 compiler. Uh, which is installed as part of the uh, uh, the bonus CD, and that is the OpenWatcom Fortran 77 compiler. And down here you can see the OpenWatcom uh, Fortran compiler, OpenWatcom Fortran compiler, and so that's on the uh, on the bonus CD. Once you've installed that, uh, you'll need to go into Devel and then Watcom F and you'll need to run the OW set env, and that will set up your environment to compile Fortran programs, so OW set env. So uh, let's go into a directory where I've set up my Fortran projects, and let's talk a little bit about the character set for Fortran. So Fortran dates back to a time uh, when all coding was done on punched cards, and this is what a punched card looks like. Uh, 80 columns, and I know that it's got several rows on there, but that's just because you need space for uh, these holes to get punched on the card. But it really is, each card is one line of text. And I said 80 columns long, but it actually isn't even 80 columns because the last eight columns are reserved for what's called punch card order. If you had a box of these cards and on your way walking to uh, the computer or just walking around the office and you drop this uh, card deck, uh, they're going to be spilled all over the floor. And how do you get them back into program order? Well, the punch card order will help you a little bit. And so you, there's a special machine that would sort these things based on uh, the punch card order. And so that's what those last uh, eight uh, columns were reserved for is the punch card order. Uh, and so that was not something you could use for writing a program. So really you're left with 72 columns. Although actually the first uh, five columns are reserved for uh, either a, uh, a comment indicator or a line number. And uh, it's called a statement number. And uh, so you're losing those first five columns. And actually, column six is a reserved column to indicate a continuation line. So you actually have you know fewer than uh, 80 columns by quite a bit. So let's go back to uh, my, uh, my my FreeDOS session here, and let's look at uh, the uh, the columns. And so I've got a file here called columns. I'll just actually bring it up in the editor, uh, columns.txt. So you can only use the first 72 columns. Anything after that uh, will get ignored by the compiler. It'll just get truncated. Uh, and uh, the first, as I said, the first five columns are reserved for line numbers. And so down here, you can see I've got a little sort of a ruler, I guess you'd say, in terms of indicating what the different uh, columns are going all the way out at the end to column. This is column 72. Uh, if you have a C in the first column or a star in the first column, that indicates that that line is a comment. And so it's going to get ignored. And so if you want a full line comment, that's how you do it. Just a C or a star in the first column. Some compilers will allow other characters in there. Uh, like, for example, some compilers allow you to put a D in there. And that gets ignored unless you turn on what's called debugging. And then it becomes a debugging statement. Uh, but we're going to just stick with the standard here. So it's either a C or it's a star. And then uh, you can also have, instead of a C or a star, you can have anywhere in those five spaces, you can have numbers. And so that would indicate a statement number. Now, it's not 
strictly speaking, a line number. It's not like you have lines one, two, three, four, five. It's almost, uh, it's, it's a little closer to basic where you have these line numbers where you can actually have like, you know, 10, 20, 30. Uh, but it's not even that because actually they don't even have to be listed in order. There's no reason that you have to have them listed in order. And in fact, statements don't have to have line numbers at all. So it's really just a label for usually jumping to somewhere uh, as part of a loop or a go-to or something like that. And so that's why you would have line numbers. And so you're going to have a lot of programs that just don't have a line number. They're going to have spaces in those first uh, five columns. The next column over from that, column six, if you put in, the standard I think says uh, anything that's not a blank, uh, but practically speaking, you'll see programmers would use either a plus symbol or they'll use a number symbol. So uh, one, two, three, for example, all the way up to nine. I don't think the standard allowed you to use zero. Uh, and uh, But this would allow you to kind of indicate a... Uh, a longer line that wouldn't fit in uh, the 72 columns. And so this allows you to have a line that's longer than that. And so that's why you would, you would need to do that. Uh, once you've got a statement, statements will start then in like here, uh, it will start in column seven because the first five characters or columns are reserved for a statement number. And then column six is reserved for the continuation character. And so program statements always will start in column seven. You could have spaces there as well if you want to provide indenting, but uh, column seven is where uh, things really start. And so you're going to have uh, statements. And if you want to have an inline statement or an inline comment, uh, you could actually do that by inserting a, an exclamation point. As long as it's not included in, in a string, for example, then this would indicate the rest of the line is an inline comment. I'll be honest, in my programming, I, I didn't, I, I eventually stopped using inline comments because it made your code a little hard to read when everything is kind of column uh, sensitive uh, you're kind of limited for what what you're going to have on the screen and so i i ended up not using inline comments i would just make a a, a, a line comment uh, with a c or a star in column one and so that's what the columns are on in, in fortran programming now you'll notice that everything in here is uh, is uppercase and that's because uh, you can only use the characters that would fit on a punched card, at least in Fortran 77. In later versions, Fortran 90, for example, you could use uppercase and lowercase. And uh, now the more recent version, I think, is 20, Fortran 2018. But I stopped learning at Fortran 77. So that's what I'm going to teach you here. Uh, you've got uh, the, we'll do bring up the editor again. So the, uh, the character set is going to be, these are the allowed characters for Fortran 77 programs. So you've got uh, the numbers zero through nine. Uh, you have the letters A through Z. Uh, you can use spaces. Uh, you can, in theory, use tabs. I think the standard says a tab is would bring you out to the next, uh, you know, column eight. Uh, I would avoid using tabs just because I prefer to just be very literal about what I'm putting in there. So I'm, I would I would prefer to use uh, spaces. Uh, also down here, you'll notice that we have uh, these characters that would be used in mathematics uh, equations. And so the equals, plus, minus, uh, the asterisk indicates uh, multiplication, uh, slash, and then parentheses. So you'll, you'll use that a lot in uh, mathematical expressions. And then you've got these other special characters. You've got the comma, the period, the single quote, the double quote, dollar sign, exclamation point, colon, percent, ampersand, and question mark. And so these are the allowed characters in Fortran 77. Now, can you use other characters inside a string? Actually, yes, technically you can use other characters inside of a string when you get to the point of doing a string. You could use, for example, uppercase and lowercase. I'm going to use everything as sort of the 4chan77 standard uh, because uh, it's it's what I learned. And so that's what I'm going to uh, use here. So let's go ahead and start a new program just to demonstrate how to write a Fortran program. So we're going to do uh, edit uh, and we'll just do a hello world program. So we'll do hello.f. And I'm going to put my caps lock key on because there's no point in using lowercase. Uh, I'm going to hit some spaces here. One, two, three, four, five. Those are the statement numbers. Six, that's the continuation character. And so here I am in column seven, and I'm going to start writing my program. 
uh, every program for Fortran needs to start with the keyword program. And that says basically, this is the start of my program. There's another one for function, another one for subroutine. Today, we're just going to do a very simple hello world program. Uh, and then you need to name the program. And so uh, I would call it, uh, for example, hello. Now, the, the trick is, is that whatever you name your program, you can't use it as a variable <laughs> in your program. So uh, be careful about what, what you're naming your program. Uh, a friend of mine, when we were in college, uh, would actually use, uh, uh, he would name his programs Med by Me. Um, and why would he do that? Because Fortran is not space sensitive. And that's because things had to live on a punched card and you might have a continuation. And so you might have some spaces at the end of a line and then you continue it on the next line. So it's not space sensitive. And so why was the program called med by me? Because it's not space sensitive. He would actually write it out programmed by me. <laughs> uh, and uh, the Fortran compiler will say, oh, I found the keyword program. And so what is this program called? This program is called the uh, uh, med by me. It's a seven character name. It's going to ignore those spaces. And that was guaranteed not to be a variable because that would be an odd variable uh, to uh, an odd name to give to a variable. Uh, but here, let's just, let's just call it program. Hello, just to kind of keep it simple. Uh, and then uh, we're going to do another statement in here where we're going to do a print, the very basic uh, print statement. Uh, and the uh, function for that is print. That's a keyword there, print. And that allows us to, to print out some information back to the user. Now there's a, a uh, you can, you need to give print uh, some information. Uh, there was another, there's another function called write that does the same thing. Uh, but uh, sort of, but uh, what we're doing here with print is we're telling it uh, where it needs to be uh, printed to. And if you're going to be doing uh, file input and output, uh, you, you would use something different. But if you're just going to be printing out to the screen, we're going to do a star. And that says print star says we're going to print back to the user on whatever the standard device is, which is very likely the screen. And then we're going to do a comma and then anything after that we can now print out to the user now if we had a variable in here we could just type variable that, that we, we would print out the value of that variable uh, if we wanted to print out uh, other variables on the same line we could just do uh, say x and y and so this would print out this this instruction would print out the value of the var variable as well as the values of the X and Y variables, but we haven't declared any variables here. So actually this program uh, would give us some errors when we try to compile it. Instead, we're just gonna print out a simple string. Now, other programming languages use double quote to indicate uh, we're gonna start and stop a string, but Fortran uses the single quote. And so we're gonna print out the text, hello world. And then there's our other quote. If you needed to put a, a, a single quote in your string itself, uh, you would use a double quote and then uh, more text and then end it with a single quote. So two double quotes will give you a, a single quote in the output. Uh, but here we're just going to do uh, hello world as our output. At the end of the program, when we, when we said that we are done with our program, we're going to uh, just use the instruction end. And so that is a minimum uh, Fortran program that is going to just print out the words hello world back to our user. So let's go ahead and save our program. So we're going to do file uh, and then save. And then we're going to just go ahead and uh, file back down to exit. And now we can run the Watcom Fortran compiler and linker on uh, hello.f. And so there it is, it's compiled our program. And uh, now we can go ahead and run hello. And it's now printed out the string hello world. So this is your basic introduction to Fortran. What'd you think about this video? Are you looking forward to other Fortran videos? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, before I go, I just want to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. I say that all the time, but you really do make this channel happen. So thank you very much for your support. Some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level, and I want to thank you again, especially here for that.
Visit our website at freedos.org, join us on Facebook, follow us on Mastodon, and consider supporting me on Patreon. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.